Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Blackboard Collaborate to do a multi-room kind of student question system. Um, so this will be useful, say, in a setting for a final exam, when you've got a number of students who are going to want to ask questions, maybe a number of different people who can answer those questions, and you want to use it in a kind of a controlled fashion with a queue. This video is about how to use such a system from a student's point of view, just as to what to expect when you come to ask a question during the final exam. So first off, you'll have a link that we'll have given you for accessing BB Collab. And so let me just flip over to this. So you'll type in the link here at the top and go to that. I'm in a incognito pane here just so that I can kind of pretend that I'm somebody else. And I'll go in and I'll say, I say, uh, Bob with many questions. Whatever name you put in. Uh, we're allowing anonymous people, probably for our ones, um, maybe that'll change. But anyway, if you're anonymous, you can type in who you want to be. Then in this case, I can allow it to access my mic and my camera. It's a good idea to do so. That way you can ask questions with video and voice. Um, here I'm not going to let it do that just so that I don't interfere with the audio recording. Um, if this comes up and you want to just skip it because you want to do text only, I can click the X. And now I am joining here in here. If I've never been here before, I can skip the tutorial. You'll be seeing what's going on here. Close those down. Now the first thing you'll see is a screen that we're sharing that gives you some basic directions as to what to do now. Um, the t we'll, there'll be one TA who's managing the sort of the process here. They're not there to ask questions about the exam. They're there just to make sure people get to the right places. So don't ask a question right away. It says here the first thing you need to do is enter the queue. Uh, to find the chat, you need to expand the arrows at the bottom right hand corner. So this purple arrow at the bottom right hand corner, and then you've got the chats here. So I want to talk to, sure, everyone. Sometimes if I wanted to switch who I wanted to talk to, I can go here, pick on what to talk to, but I'm gonna say everyone. This is gonna be everyone in this chat session, that's fine. And I'll type in my name. And so I want, or rather, I just wanna type in, uh, it tells me here, Q please. I want to be polite. So the message comes up, Q please. The TA will then see that on their login, and they will then type in here, uh, maybe the next person we have, uh, Bob with many questions. And we can see that they are maintaining a queue of who's coming up. Now, the instructor will be in a room, as well as maybe some other uh, TAs will be in the rooms uh, answering questions. The instructor will indicate that they're ready to uh, answer some more questions. The TA who's managing the queue will see that, and then via their software, will make that change. And so let me see if I can do that here. Uh, I'm going to move Bob with many questions into the room with me. Okay, and so now uh, Bob has entered this room, and as it turns out, I am projecting what is coming through my camera here, so you can kind of see an infinite number of copies of this. If you actually came to my office hours, you'd see just one copy of me. Um, and at this point, you can ask a question. Uh, you can ask things like, uh, you know, you can either say voice. So if you want to activate voice, you have to click the share audio down here at the bottom. Or if you want to share video, click on share video here. Or you can ask your question. Something like, I don't understand part 1A. If whatever question it is, I will then see it in my chat. And I can answer you back either voice. Or if I wanted to, I could type in an answer. Uh, just pick C, everyone does. When you're done, uh, you'll want to log out. And the way you'll have to log out is up here on the left. You can go down here to leave session. Or alternatively, you can just close your browser. Um, I do want to highlight one other thing is that if you happen to want to send a message, say when you first come in, you got a question you want to ask the TA there uh, about how to do something, you can type in here in the top left, or pardon me, in the top right of this, um, who you want to type to. So in this case, uh, I put the TA name is Sanjit. And so you can pick on the person you want to type to and you say, uh, you know, please do, do, you know, uh, is it likely I can just type? Or who knows what you want to say? That message will just go to Sanjit, who will be the one kind of administering the process in this fictitious example. And then I'll go back to saying just everyone, and this will talk to everyone in the room. Okay, so when you're done, close the browser and carry on with your exam. Good luck.